get to the truth if you can. You Does that mean a lawyer truth. to you? I don't know. Are you? <laughs> Commercial. What do you think? I don't know. I, don't I know. think we're going to get to some questions where... Well, tell know. me where I'm lying. Because if you don't know I'm telling you the truth, then you must have a little scratch in the back of your head about where I'm lying. Now tell me. Tell me where I'm lying. I'm not lying? saying you're lying. But you're saying you don't know if I'm telling the truth. What the hell is the difference? I'm saying I've met you for what, 20 minutes? I don't care about that. You put me on the stand. I'm telling the I truth and you say stand. you're scratching the head. Why are you being so defensive? Because you just insulted me. I didn't insult you. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Nobody tells me I'm a liar. I didn't call you a liar. <laughs> you said shot. I might not be telling the truth. What the hell is the difference? I said I'm going to ask I don't you. want to take this any place special. All I want... Okay, let me say it this way. My skin is a little bit thin. Sure. Which is why I stay away from people mostly. I've never allowed anybody to ask me the questions that you're asking. Mm -hmm. I allowed you to do that because I trust you. And I would have assumed that you and that guy in your ear would trust me. Now he's paranoid. And if you don't, then we better start talking about the little rascals. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I, I this is wanna... great for Piers and for fucking Robert Blake. He'll, he'll sell some books based on this. Cause you want to read about a fucking mental patient like this? <laughs> well, Roland uh, came to me this morning and said, do you want Robert Blake? Yes. You think that could happen? If he made that happen, that'd be huge. That'd be awesome. I'll talk to little rascals with him. Yeah, and we'll I'll ask him if rascals. he's lying to me. What do you think this is all about? That he got away with murder and he just doesn't want to deal with it? He's always been a, with it? a nutty fucking guy. True. Even during Beretta, uh, you, you listen to interviews with people that worked with him and say he was fucking crazy. Did well, it, wasn't this like his second or third wife, too? Yeah, was it? It was sort of like a fan or something, I remember. I don't know, that he ended up marrying. I, <laughs> we haven't thought about this in years, but what happened that day? Did they ever arrest anyone for that murder? No. OJ. Okay. So, you think it was a hit? OJ. Okay. Uh, it had to be. Come on. The guy fucking walks inside to heard, get his gun. <laughs> and I, I heard he was miserable or something. There was something going on between those yeah. two. Yeah, but if it was a hit, why would he do it when he was anywhere near her? You know, he's not... I to mean, throw him off the scent. It's fucking Not perfect. everyone gets that perfect alibi where they go to fucking California while their condo's burning down. He, kn uh, <laughs> he knows that they're going to be at a certain place at a certain time because he's with her. He knows he's just got to take her out, right. leave his gun inside, right. say, oh, I got to get my gun. And, and everyone sees him go back in the perfect. restaurant to get the gun so he yeah. can't... He definitely didn't shoot her because he's his gun is inside. Okay, but... Okay, if you're going to be involved in something like this, why even carry a gun? Why wouldn't it be something? You know what I mean? Why even bring a gun into the pit? Oh, I left my gun in. Because he always probably carries. always has his gun. Why would he do something different? Yes, yeah, you, you don't do, do anything You do the different. same shit you would do on any other day. That's the mistake you made. And who takes around. flying to California? Listen, who takes their gun out too in a restaurant when they're eating? That's place? true. Like, why would you do that? Why Unless he's on the, the shitter. You know, if you go into the shitter, you got to pop your gun out and pop it up on a fucking, you know, toilet paper holder or something okay, like that. Okay, so here's the deal. So or maybe, maybe out of respect, it's the type left, of restaurant yeah. where you, you, you yeah. kind of check your guns. You know what I mean? Maybe well, it's one of those type of joints. Popeyes. Old West. I don't know. <laughs> but maybe that's something you do. I don't know. <laughs> the, I way, don't know. Uh, the way he told it in a clip that I didn't pull for you guys yeah. um, is that, you know, his wife was, was a con artist and, and there was a lot of, a lot of people you know, wanted her, her dead or, or wanted something mm -hmm. bad to happen. But, you know, nobody could ever find her. And he goes, well, you know, and then she marries Robert Blake. Well, where does Robert Blake live? And mm -hmm. they just did it but that way. Iraq taking a big shit? No, Eric's taking care Oh, of okay. Sorry. <laughs> but with that said, she ended up conning Robert Blake yeah. into her life. Yes. And then yes, Robert Blake right. goes, holy fuck, I've been conned. How the hell oh, am yeah. I getting out of this thing? Con. I'm not saying he didn't he didn't yeah. have anything to do with it. I'm saying that, that, no, that I was, know, that was but... his uh, his explanation in a clip that I didn't pull because it was like whatever. Liar, not, liar, not pants crazy. on fire, Robert Blake. That's, That's what I say. Being called out for uh, saying check your gun. I don't know. Well, I don't yeah. know. Maybe there's a place like that. I, no, I, there's no check your gun, but there are places that don't allow guns. Right. You know. And, so uh, all right, if they don't allow a gun and you have a gun, then what happens? Uh, you got to find somewhere to put your gun. Or when can you, go you check your gun? I don't think you could check <laughs> your, your gun. I think there's a liability problem. You could check your guns at like courthouses and things right. like that and precincts, but I don't think a private establishment is going to hook up a place where you can check your gun. The liability issues are uh, um, astounding at that point. I'm officially a dummy. Uh, no, it's just, no. you know, there's certain things people know about. And, I'm officially uh, a dummy. Uh, well, why so then why did, all right, so where was the gun then? 
He left it at. He his... might have left it either but, uh, at the at the table, which is ridiculous. But you're was res- it at the table? Well, that that's what it sounds like he's saying because they they were leaving. But that's and crazy. then he said, "Oh, I gotta go get my gun." So that's why it's suspicious. And it. answer answer responsible gun owner. Okay, you're not you're not leaving your gun no, anywhere. Never. You, you're, how would you leave your gun in a restaurant? Of where the fuck it is at all times. So where was the gun in the restaurant? That had to come might out have been the in the shitter. Case. If 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 no, it was in the and then what are the odds that nobody else went in there in the shitter after him? Might have been. Just... I think it was late. I I don't know. All uh, I, I believe me. I think the guy was involved. Okay, <laughs> believe yes, me. She was in the car too when she got shot. Right? Wasn't I think she? So in yeah. No, so, whether he was involved or not, the, the fact remains he definitely left his gun in the restaurant. Yeah, he did. And that's all I'm talking about right now. Hence my stupid uh, check the gun theory because it sounds ridiculous. Because I know ants. You know, a responsible gun owner, and this shit just doesn't happen. You How don't, about you don't he, fucking take your gun out in a restaurant? How about it fell out uh, onto the floor? He realized it was gone, went in to get it. But what did they say in the court case? It I had know. to come out. It had to. Like, it did he leave it out. in the shit, or did he leave it in like a, some kind of a booth in Where the restaurant? Where was his gun when he went in to get it? That's the question we need to know right now. Do some research, fucking pal talk people. Don't just stare at me. <laughs> Help us out. <laughs> Tweet me. I don't give a fuck. Jesus Christ. Anything. You lazy fuckers. <laughs> oh, God. Mm-hmm. I yeah. go to that restaurant a lot. They wouldn't care about walking in with a gun. Okay, oh, that's okay. Yeah, some places uh, do, some places no, I, don't. Obviously, we're moving past the check the gun theory, which was stupid on my part. I get it. But, well, there are, but there I want to know the real though. answer. Yeah. There are places, though. Uh, New York's a kind of uh, weird. It, there's almost a good part of New York being so f- much of a pain in the ass to carry a concealed weapon because uh, a lot of these open states that are very lenient. Is California open state? I don't even no, know. No, not really. California's kind of a pain in the ass. But like, okay. let's say Texas. Very easy to get a gun in Texas, Arizona, stuff like that. A lot of these establishments put up signs that say no guns on premises. Okay. And you're not allowed to go in there with your gun because everyone has a gun. In New York... You never see those signs because most of the people don't have guns and they don't have to put those signs up because, for the most part, no one's going to have a gun when they walk in these places unless they're, you know, bad right. guys. Gotcha. So uh, you almost work. it almost works out better that you could go into more places with your gun in a, a tougher state to get a gun in. See, now someone, uh, Kyle in Indiana says he checked his gun with his coat, and I really want to go to his phone call, but I think it's, it's more going to be a joke. Me. Yes. You think it's going to be a joke? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's hear. Kyle. Ah, he hung up. All right. Do we know he he left it in the booth, <clears throat> like that they were sitting in. He left it in the bo- oh, okay, a booth. Now that's different. I pictured some chairs around a table, but if it's a booth, it could have like My thought- he maybe didn't want to sit down because sometimes a holster's uncomfortable. Right. So he might have taken it out and Here, and put it next to him. Well, wait, here's, here's, here's where it's down. weird. All right. Just- uh, after they left, Blake returned to the restaurant to retrieve his handgun, which he had left in the restaurant booth. He asked for water, and after drinking two glasses, he left again. <laughs> that ought to be long. After hearing bang, bang, yeah, yeah. he went outside. <laughs> after drinking two glasses of water right before he's on his way home. Two we'll glasses of water. Well, see, here's the deal. All right, if there's a hit set up, uh-huh. he's got a stall in the restaurant. He's got to leave the fucking scene. Right. Because he doesn't want to, you know, by accident see shit and then have no, to, have to uh, go testify. through a lie detector test right. or whatever the fuck. So he's got to get him, he's got to get himself back in the restaurant. How do you do that in California? Because you know you're not going to forget a coat or something because it's warm. And he can't forget what the car keys because he had to let her in. Right, right. right. So it's got to be something on wallet, your wallet. Could maybe be a wallet. It, maybe went with the credit card thing, but at the last second they're like, "Oh, here's your credit card, Mister Blake." And he's God like, damn fuck. it! Now I got to ditch my gun. Now I got to <laughs> get up off this seat and leave my gun behind. <laughs> Yeah. He's got to get back in the restaurant so they could do what they're doing, and then he gets, comes back out, and he's got the perfect alibi. Everyone saw that he went back into the restaurant. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. And that and restaurant water, you're not going to just have one cup because it's so good. Oh, you got to have two. <laughs> you got to have two. <laughs> Why would you sit there and have two glasses of because water? Because you know that you don't want to walk out while she's being shot. <laughs> that's why, thank you. Yes. That's why I'm bringing it up. Come that's, on. Have you ever left the... Have you ever left your girl in the car to have two glasses of <laughs> two water? Two glasses of water. <laughs> why not just go to the bathroom? <laughs> right. Yeah. You might why? slam one. You might slam one. You're like, you know what? I need a glass of water. But I can do this in a couple seconds. But you, you get another he, one? You got dry mouth from nerves because his wife is being shot outside. <laughs> no one is cotton mouth. No one is suspicious that he's sitting there drinking his water. Yeah. You know, you know take some time to open his crystal light, pour right. it in. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sports. <laughs> Are we allowed to say we think he killed his wife? We could say what we you think. Have an opinion. That's just our uh, opinion. That's my opinion. My opinion is he knew something. Yeah. He knew, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Uh, he didn't do it. I'll absolutely say he didn't do it physically, but I believe he knew the person that did it and was probably behind the reason. Yeah. That's my opinion. I could say that. Fuck it. Fuck right. out. Well, here's the last clip from Piers Morgan, Robert Blake. When I did all that Facebook stuff, and then I went in the closet, and I found oh, two boxes yay. of pictures that I didn't know exist. They were full of rat <laughs> And I pulled all these pictures out, and I said, that's all me. And I said, what do I do with this? Somebody said, write a book. And I couldn't write a book, because I'm not going to write six books. I'm only going to write one book. How do I put 75 years in one book? Well, you do it the way you just saw. There's four or five little chapters about the rascals. There's chapters about those rotten bastard cops that ripped my guts out and left me beside the road to die. I'll get to you son of a bitches later, but don't think you're going to get off the hook. Oh, shit. I was supposed to die in that cell, wasn't I, you bastards? Well, I didn't die, and you didn't get your book deal, mothers. I wrote a book about you. So you'll have to go out and rip some other celebrity till he's dead. Then you can write a book about him. I'm sorry, I'm back. That's how. So the book became all of my life. Wow. The whole time he's saying that, by the way, he's looking at the camera and pointing. Right. Like wait, he's talking to the cops. Wait, the Hulk cops. Hogan, I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah. uh, 